Hello, everyone, and welcome to another semester of Ferris Ford Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll check in with the Ferris State men's and women's basketball squads, both off to great starts this year, and we'll also touch base with Bulldog Hockey. We'll start first, though, with the men's basketball squad, ranked in the top 15 teams in the country, and joined by Junior Dorian Alouie. And Dorian, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, before we get into this past weekend's action, obviously your uh, first year as a Bulldog, transferred in here as a junior at Ferris State. What, what's it been like uh, being a part of the Bulldog program? It's been a great experience. Uh, I haven't really come from winning programs, so it's, it's different, but I like it. I, I like to win, so um, it, it's been a great experience. I love uh, being coached by uh, Coach Bronx. I love my teammates. Uh, we fight every week. We get better, and, and our record shows it, so I hope we, we got to keep doing this for, for the rest of the season. Coming from uh, Minot State, where you played before, what, what's the competition maybe uh, been like uh, here in the GLIAC compared to maybe what you saw out there? Uh, I think some of the competition is, is kind of the same. Every team's got uh, some scores, some some very talented players. Um, I think what separates Minot and Ferris, though, is, is this team has a very deep, very deep squad. We got ten guys that can play, ten guys can that can do do a lot, and everybody plays their role. And uh, I think that's why we're as good as we are. So. So we'll go to some of the highlights of this past weekend. A uh, trip to the Upper Peninsula. We'll start uh, with the game Thursday in Northern Michigan. And uh, a lot of snow up there. Uh, how'd you like uh, the, the long trip to the UP? Uh, it was a long bus ride. Um, we kind of handled it well uh, the first game. Saturday, not so much. But uh, I, li I like playing up there. I look forward to getting back up there uh, next year. I also look forward to playing them again at home uh, in February. Obviously, uh, this uh, game right here, a little, little more low scoring than maybe some games you've uh, had throughout the year and, and more of a, a great defensive effort here uh, on this night. Yeah, just like uh, Coach Bronx told us, we don't always have to score in the 90s. Uh, I know we'd like to, but uh, as long as we get the win, that's what matters. And uh, this night, it was about defense, and that's what we did. Held them to under 50 points. Uh, we scored about 50 ourselves, but we, we got the win, and, and that's all that matters. What was it like playing uh, here inside the Barry Event Center? A little different than maybe a, a more traditional basketball arena? Uh, definitely a uh, nicer gym. Uh, I like the dome. Kind of reminds me of uh, uh, our gym in Minot, uh, dome like. Um, played well, I guess didn't shoot well, but, you know, it happens. And like I said, won it on the defensive end this night. Had a six point halftime lead, and here in the second half, uh, they obviously made a couple runs. Uh, this is a team that uh, eliminated Ferris State last year before you arrived. Was that any extra motivation maybe for some of the guys on the team? Yeah, Coach Bronx uh, always tells us the story and the narrative before the game. So we, we always come in with with a mindset of, of beat these guys from what they did to us last year or, or the narrative from last year. So we all had a chip on our shoulder coming into this game. Some of the older guys that maybe uh, have been around for a while, D'Angelo Hughes, Cole Walker, what are those guys meant to have Have those guys uh, kind of be the leaders uh, here for the Bulldogs? Uh, it's, it's great. Um, D'Lo, Cole, and Greg all, all provide great leadership, all provide good sparks no matter uh, if they start, come off the bench. They provide the energy that we need as, as seniors and as captains, so love having them. When we get down uh, here into the final five minutes, a uh, close ball game. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of confidence uh, from you guys uh, knowing that you had a, a chance to pull out this win. Yeah, lo lots of confidence. Uh, uh, glad to pull a win out and uh, do it on the defensive end. So it was a great win, great team win on, on Thursday. 61-48 the final, but uh, didn't have a whole lot of time really to, to reflect on that one. A very good Michigan Tech team that uh, you had to turn around and face on Saturday. Yeah, very good team. We, we harped on them in uh, scout team all week. Uh, Kyle Monroe, one of the best players in the GLIAC, is uh, Coach Bronx repeated the whole week. And uh, we kind of let him do what he did. Um, didn't hit too many shots, but got to the free throw line 15 times, made 12. So that's a, a big impact right there. Um, As we go to the highlights of this game, obviously a team that uh, put up 100 points, shot the ball very well in their win on Thursday night, and kind of picked up right where they left off here in the first half. Yeah, they, they came out hot. Uh, I don't think number 14 missed a shot in the first first 10 minutes. Um, but like you said, they came out hot. They were hot on Thursday versus uh, Lake State, so we expected them to come out uh, still on fire. Um, they shot 70% from the three, 60 from the field. It's hard to beat a team when they shoot that well, but, you know, we fought back. We, we were down big early in the half, um, but we, we fought back uh, pretty hard, brought it to within seven, I think. 
that just shows the resilience that our team has, you know, and I think when we see them at home, we'll have a, a way better shot at it. Obviously down at halftime, uh, pretty big here in this ball game. What, what was the message maybe uh, amongst the players uh, here at halftime and in, in trying to come back here in the second half? We know what we had to do. Uh, we knew we weren't playing as hard and they, were, they wanted a lot more than us. So amongst ourselves, we, we talked about it, just told ourselves go out, play hard. And, and Coach Bronx told us, like, if, if, anyone's, if any team's a team to come back and win, it's us. And so we fought back, brought it to within 10 right there. Um, but a little, l few mistakes on the defensive end gave them uh, uh, the runs that they needed to secure the win. Game like this, uh, you had a couple runs, uh, cut it to eight, and they pushed it back up. You cut it to seven. Uh, you, you really have to expend a lot of energy to try to get back in the ball game. A lot of energy. We should have done it in the first half, not not let it get to the lead that it got to. Uh, but you know it happened. So we fought, but it, it, in the end, it wasn't enough. Obviously, a veteran Michigan Tech team, and uh, you mentioned Kyle Monroe uh, back uh, after missing all of last season, and uh, this is a team that has certainly a lot of experience. A lot of experience, and they showed it to us in the first 10 minutes. Um, they were just coming off, off screens. We weren't guarding them well, and they were getting all open shots. Uh, so we rotated. Some of them were, were contested, but others not, not as much. Put that uh, game behind you now as you move forward, and uh, nice to be back at home this week after a, a five-game trip on the road. Yeah, finally back in, in the wink. Uh, got Parkside on, on Thursday and Purdue Northwest this Saturday, so that game is behind us now, but we're, we're ready to focus on, on the games ahead. Obviously, Parkside, you mentioned on Thursday night, another team that's uh, got a lot of experience back and a team that's had a lot of success uh, here in the GLIAC. Yeah, they won our division. Uh, Last year, Coach Bronx informed me, and they have just won four in a row. So we're, we're really getting ready for him here in practice, uh, scouting them really well. Uh, I, I think as long as we go hard in practice, I, I think we got a good shot to win on Thursday. Obviously, at 18-3 and three overall, you put yourselves in, in position here to make a run in, in terms of postseason play later on in the year, but a, a lot of games uh, left to be played here a on the schedule. A lot of games left in the GLIAC to play. Uh, very tough conference. So got to finish finish it out, take it a game at a time, and then we'll worry about the postseason when we get there. Obviously, uh, going down the stretch here in the GLIAC, uh, what are some goals for this team uh, to try to try to finish as high as you can uh, here in terms of the conference? Definitely, definitely want to win the conference. Um, new goal that we have, beat Michigan Tech when they come at home. Um, very hostile environment when, when we went down up to the UP, so we'll try and make it the same. Um, but yeah, we'll just take it a game at a time, try and win each day, get better in practice, and, and get ready for the postseason when it matters. Obviously, you had a lot of home games uh, here in the first half of the season. What's it been like uh, playing those home games inside Wink Arena? Uh, crazy atmosphere. Uh, I love it, um, especially for rivalry games such as Grand Valley. Um, Dav Davenport was, was an away game, but e even Parkside will be a, a great atmosphere as they won the league last year. So it's been great for me, uh, great for the team, and I think we're ready to go back at it.